So there's my F-18, back home from vacation, safe and sound, a little worse for the wear, but otherwise intact and ready to fly another day. The fan unit, however, is not. So this is the fan unit here that failed. Change sun, 12 blade, 90 millimeter, with a rather expensive 120 some dollar HET motor. And look at that shaft. Can you imagine the forces needed to do that? Tweak that shaft 30 degrees, like that. Busted shroud. From the shroud, you would almost think that blades would have ejected through the side of the airplane. But the fact is, not one did. No damage. I have several, I had several indications of blades having um, fired into the ID of the plane but none of them actually were peeking through. So this is good news for those of us that hand launch because I wondered what would happen if one of these let go coincidentally at exactly the moment as I was hand launching the plane was by my head and uh, how sad would I be if one of these things did this to me. So this is good news for us because the plane contains everything. So looking a little deeper uh, the failure for most blades was of course in the blade area itself as a result of making contact with the shroud and the failures are all over the map but if we look at the blades that have ejected notice there Let's see if I can get the I want to focus a little better if I can I guess it's as good as it's going to get the forward tongues are there interesting so at least with those blades, the forward tongues let go. Now they may have let go as a result of contact with the shroud or other blades or whatnot, but there is at least some evidence that the failure point was the forward tongue. And if I rotate this around, there again, the forward tongue. And finally, the last blade, the forward tongue. Who knows what failed in the blades that were gone? Could have been the forward tongue as well. Anyway, most of the blades were ejected out the back as I was vertical. However, some did survive to the landing, and here they are. Two survived. And uh, so what I'm seeing in this blade is um, a failure just in front of the tighter radius at the forward tongue. So the failure is in the area of the larger air radius and just forward of the tighter radius. I almost would have guessed that it would have failed in the tight radius of the forward tongue. What do I mean by that? Well if I look at this blade here, this is from another fan unit, um, I almost would have guessed that the failure might have started here, right there at that tight little radius, uh, stress riser, and then move back this way, right? Maybe, something along those lines. Whereas this, the, the failure actually occurred at this larger radius here through, the, through less material, mind you, but it's not a stress riser. It's just less material. So it indicates that um, the radii that they chose here seem to be okay. And it's just this relatively small amount of material here that wasn't able to withstand the rotational and vibratory forces. That's, that's my guess. But mostly the purpose of this video is to show others out there, maybe even change sun if they're watching. Uh, here's what happened with your fan when it grenaded. Um, what do you guys want to do about it? See what they see what they say. So that's a good blade. This is the bad blade you already saw. There's one other blade here that uh, failed exactly the same. In fact, if I could overlay them, you would see the failure points are as close to identical as you're going to get. I have a bit of a shadow here I want to try and get away from, but yeah, hopefully you can see what I'm trying to show here. Anyway, that's my story. Hopefully it does somebody some good for figuring out what to do about their purchase, and potentially it does change some good as far as deciding what to do about the material they've chosen for their blades.